What up, 4C gang? Welcome to another episode cooking with my boy, comedian Michael Allen. Make sure y'all subscribe. What up, what up, what up, my 4C gang? Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Comedian Michael Allen, where we do cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktails. But I think we have to start calling it cooking, comedy, cussing, and conversation, along with cocktails. But we're still going to stay the 4C game. You know, I love to talk. How is my 4C game doing, baby? 4C game for life. What's going on? What's going on? First, let me tell everybody, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the birthday wishes for my mother yesterday because, you know, it was her birthday. And she says, thank all of you. She said, tell the 4C gang. I said, thank them. I said, mama, you know how you can thank them? By coming on and doing one of my shows with me. She ain't that damn thankful. <laughs> so what's been going up, y'all? Look, I'm so glad to be alive today. God gave me another chance. He put me on the wake-up list. Yes. Yes, because I could not have been here. I could not have woke up, so I'm just glad. In spite of everything, I'm still here. Can I get a witness? No. Um, I'm feeling so good today. Um, you know, I'm so used to praying. I, I'm not eating anything, but I'm going to say a prayer anyway before I start. I'm going to just say a prayer anyway before I start. <sighs> Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for this day. I thank you for this moment right now, Father God. I thank you for seeing me safely through from one day to another, Father God. You are so awesome. I thank you for that, Father God. I thank you for being in my right mind, Father God. I thank you for my body working like it's supposed to, Jesus, even after being on this earth for 51 years. I thank you for that, Father God. I thank you for everything that you're doing in my life, Father God. I thank you. Even when I don't understand it, Father God, you still allow it to come to fruition, whatever it is I want. It may not be the way I want it, but it's what I want. And I thank you for that, Father God. I thank you for life. I thank you for all the 4C game that they all may have a wonderful, beautiful day. And, and their future, that in their future, things come to them that they want. Oh, Father God, I just... Say thank you, Lord. I say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all that you've done. Oh, you've been so good. All right, in your Father Jesus' name, amen. Come on, y'all had to get that on now. I had to. That's just me. It might, it might shock a lot of y'all. It may shock a lot of y'all. Oh, do he be playing with his prayer? No. No matter how I get it, let me get mine. I just got to say that. How y'all doing? Anyway, listen, y'all. Y'all know I will talk about something, right? And I kind of leave it alone, you know, because I feel like I done said all I can say, right? So, I'm trying to figure what that... Oh, I was trying to figure out what was that on my bottle. Um, you know, I think some topics can be ran into the ground. And I know some people get tired of hearing the same thing over and over about the same topic. But see, one thing I'll tell y'all about me is I speak from the heart. I speak from right here. I don't go by nobody else's blogs or blogs or whatever they call them or opinions. I only speak my own. I only, you know, I'm 51 years. I use it from my own perspective in life and what it is I've been through. When it comes to relationships, um, whether it be love or family or friends or just co-workers, you know, I come from that standpoint. Well, anyways, you got, let's get into it because I done talked enough. Tay, my boyfriend, David, 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 David. I, I was, I was, ooh, little nigga. Yeah, I said nigga, little nigga. I was right there with your dreadhead ass. I was right there with your little dreadhead ass. You took a little step too far. You should have left that shit alone and I could have rocked with you. I could have rolled with you. But no, see, sometimes, you know what? We as people, we do too damn much. Have y'all ever seen somebody that could have got away with something, but they said one word too many or did something a little extra and that got them in trouble? All that boy, David, 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 David. All you had to do was, you filed the restraining order. 
Okay? We already was a little leery with your ass when you did the 911 call because you talked more about the WeTV contract than you did take my land on the motherfucking floor with one eye open, as you say, and she had something to drink and some pills. You know what? That kind of... You know, when I look back on it now and I keep looking into the story, I see you setting your motherfucking self up. You are a uh, attention-seeking whore, David. I see that. Now, people can call me wrong when I'm... He's an attention-seeking whore. Fame and fortune whore. I said it. I said it. That's what I feel. Because now, let me just go through here. As I've been looking into the story, you know, it's three sides. It's three. We all know that saying. But I listen to both. The story... You know, it just tripped me out because I was rooting for the brother. I was really rooting for him. This would have been a stand for men and domestic violence. You know, first of all, his ass should not have did the little... You all on social media, now you got to explain. I love Tamar, and I loved her from the moment I saw her. We've been together for two years, and I love, and I love her now. And I would never... If you loved her now, why are you doing this on social media? If you loved her now and you know she got mental issues, why are you on? Because you're still defaming her character. You're, you're tarnishing her brand, my nigga. So I don't believe you when you say I love Tamar and I'll do anything for her. But and, Come on, David. Real love will make you say, you know what? Let me deal with this personally. Okay, we can't be together. I'm going to help you as much as I can. I'm not going to go on no social media and blast you. That's what real love is. I don't know how y'all do over in Africa. <laughs> but in the States, in America, that's not what you do. Unless you got a, an agenda, a hidden agenda. Nigga. Then, you want to say you don't want to hurt her and you love her. But look, you in the same little social media rant. Because that's what I call a little bitch-ass rant, what you did. You did a little bitch-ass rant. No real, a real man would have just said, fuck it, I filed, this, I filed the report. Let me leave it at that. that I'm not going on social media. Uh, I was driving down the street, and I was driving down the freeway, and I was driving at a fast speed, and she reached over, and she hit me in my juggler, and everybody knows that juggler, the juggler sends the blood everywhere in the body and to the brain. And I almost, I, I would hope I hadn't had an accident. I, and I had to call my mother. I called my mother. A 50 year old man, I had to call. Oh, I want to reach through that mother. Ooh, I want to reach through the screen and, and, and cut every dreadlock just so I can punch him in the back of the head and he can feel it really hard. Cut all the dreadlocks out. Didn't punch his ass. I had to call my, first of all, if that was the case, you need your ass beat now. Now, because I'm not. You just you saying this girl that hits you in a juggler. You you so messed up that you had to call your mama. That's too much stuff you doing. How about you hit me in a juggler? I'ma snatch your ass, pull over, and put you the hell out. Now, I'm not even considering you a real man because you, you're giving me a lot of bitch, bitch assness, a little bitchiness. A lot of bitchiness, I might as well say it. Then you get on there and you do like, you so tra traumatized and you doing this. And uh, thanks for all the love for the people that have sent to me and the people in Africa. And, you know, I, I'm a victim of abuse. Okay, see, this is what I have an issue with. Yes, okay, say that you are an, a victim of abuse. You got your own apartment, she got her own apartment. She living in the United States. You got family. You can get the fuck away. If you that damn scared that was she whooping your ass, go back to Africa, nigga. Go back to Africa. Go back to Africa and you get... But, okay. See, you don't fool me, David. You do not fool me, my brother. I looked at some of the tapes of just the previews of her show. You are loving the limelight. You are eating it up. That is what you want. 
And you, you, what you need to do is be thanking Tamar that she even gave you that platform. Because none of us knew who the hell you were. I never heard of you, and I know a lot of a lot of people out of near your ass. It's like you gave Taco Tuesday, Taco Tuesday night at your apartment. You and Logan playing together. Oh, you just live it. You making a toast. But in that now one called Why We TV, We TV. What are you getting out of being on that show? Because I'm sure the way you are, David, that you didn't work something in that contract that you was going to get paid something. Either that or you just don't like you said. There has been stories out there you don't like the way you depicted in there. And from what I saw, I don't like you already. Maybe you, you know, I'm trying to figure this out. Did you and Tamar fall out and you didn't get what you wanted or whatever? Because your moves are, tr are strategic. I don't like people with strategic moves unless it's to uplift, not to bring somebody down. <clears throat> you trying to get some somewhere, but I'm going to tell you this, David. Give it six, seven months. Nobody's going to even know who you are or even care what the hell you doing. If you got a spinoff show, because I think that's what you're looking for, a spinoff show, black man <laughs> beaten and recover, whatever the fuck it is, I wouldn't watch shit. Ain't shit you got to say that I won't watch. I had to zoom, go through your little, your little Facebook bitch rant page, your little uh, social media bitch rant. That's what I'm calling it, a bitch rant. You gave too much detail. All you had to do as a man say, look, she was she couldn't keep her hands to herself, and I couldn't deal with it. I found the thing, and I'm out. That's all. That's what a man would do. You going into details, and you even took a moment. If you cry one more damn time, if you cry one more time, I don't know who, who has a tear coming... I think it's only one person that cry more than you every time we see him, and that's Terrence Howard in his movies. <laughs> but, David, come on. I, I Listen, I done peeped your whole card a long time ago. Uh, Tamar. Tamar, Tamar. First of all, let's, let's talk about Mona Scott Young. Everybody know who Mona Scott Young is. She's like one of the executive producers. Over. She basically started loving hip-hop and all of that. She used to work with Missy Elliott for a while there. Um, Mona Scott Young is doing a thing you can't hate on her, but Mona Scott Young, her job is the way she made money, you get people to tell a whole life story, exploit, not ex exploit themselves. Give up everything you want. You know, I don't, I love, it's no feeling in the world to be walking down the street or be somewhere and somebody go, Comedian Michael Allen, not, oh, oh yeah, hey, hey, oh, can we take a picture? That's a good feeling. And, and to some people, it's addictive. I know it. It's addictive. But at what cost, what price would you want that? Because, see, no matter how big I get or who know me, I'm still going to be me. But it ain't no cameras following me 24-7. Because if that was the case, it would be some shit. Y'all be like, oh, he did that? What? Don't judge me. Judge your damn self. So, Mona Scott Young, who's this big-time producer, uh, she used to manage people, too. I think she did over 20 years. So now what she's doing, what she's doing now. And it's a scene in, in uh, with her and Tamar. And um, Tamar thing, Tamar Braxton, Get Your Life. I don't even know if they're going to... The way they promote it is still coming out, trust me. So... Monica is asking Tamar, Tamar, she was like, is this what you really want, Tamar? Because, you know, you have to make sure you're going to let us be there with you all the way. Um, even when you want to quit, I mean, even when times get rough, you know, there's going to be cameras, you're going to have to let us be. And I'm like, so if she want a moment to say, look, you know, because that's ain't that people's favorite line, not right now, get the cameras out of here. This is what you signed up. Tamar, I think Tamar signed up for, um, what was it, six weeks, something like that, 16 weeks, something to that, of letting them film her 24-7. But then she sits there and cries and go because, and take my a good actress. Okay, I'm looking at both sides, okay, so I don't nobody say I'm biased. She's a good actress because the stuff she is complaining about 
it's hard for somebody to feel sorry for you about, you know, the biggest issue, if she had just said, look, mentally something is going on with me. But seeing her do that lets me know that something mentally is there, but she's very intelligent too because she's, she said, made a quote, she said, having an amazing day is a choice. Come on, Tamar. Y'all know I got some good one-liners. And I like that. She said, having it an amazing day is a choice. If you can say that, then you take that. Sometimes we have to take our own advice and use it. You know, have you ever known people that can give relationship advice, but always in a fucked up relationship? But the advice they give is good. But you be looking like, how the hell can you give me some? And your, but... Look, this worked though. Thank you. Maybe you need to stop being in love and go to school and become a, a therapist or something. You know, some of the best people in the most fucked up relationship can give the most the best advice. I'm serious. It is what it is. And I think um, Tamar, I feel sorry for her, but yeah, I, okay, do this make sense? I feel sorry for Tamar. But yeah, I know she, I think she knows what she's doing. I don't know how that works. I feel sorry for her for being that way, but she knows what she's doing. And now she's wanting to really, really play the victim. She, you know what? The only person that's hurt Tamar is herself. Now, I mean, now it's reports out that Tamar said she was in the car with David and he grabbed her first and she was just hitting him to get away in the car and she showed her um, I don't even have a picture I lost my I lost my other phone yeah, we ain't even finna go into all of that I'm just so pissed about it but anyway she you know it's a picture with her I'll have to probably look for this picture where his thumbprint or something is on her arm whatever it was they had a moment in that car and see this is what makes me a little leery with Hey, Mom. Well, maybe I was finna put this candy in. Hold on. Maybe that was a little too much. Oh, it was so good, though. Now, see, this one makes me a little leery with Tamar. You in the car with David. He grabs you by the arm or whatever. Y'all get into whatever the case may be. And you hit him because he got your arm. You get out and you don't call the police. And she snatches the camera, the dash camera, and you leave, and then he calls and make a report. See, do you know what I'm starting to think? On her end, she, you know, she'll cut up and let up real fast because, you know, she's a reactor. You have some people that are reactors. We love to react. I'm a reactor. Oh, you can make me, you can get a reaction out of me. Mm-hmm. It's easy to get a reaction out of Tamar. Now David know what buttons to push. So he does it and he'll he'll initiate it and then he'll play the victim. See, that's like somebody to throw a rock and then hide their hand. Oh, now this person beat me up and so they threw this rock at me. Oh, see my hands behind my back. No, no, stop that, David. You have a hidden agenda. You trying to get on. And I wouldn't have no problem, my brother. If you see, usually when men trying to get on in the industry like that, you 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 get you another woman that's a little bit more established than that one. You don't. You see what I'm saying? You just go from woman to woman till you get to where you at. Women go to man to man. Gay people go to whoever you feel like going to. I just don't know. But anyway, so this story here is. Um, it's interesting, but I just don't want to give David what he's looking for. Do not give him the fame and fortune, the glitz and the glam. Because if you look at the trailer for her new show, he's almost an everyday MC. And if that ain't the life you want, you, you, man, it's obvious what you're doing. And if she going to slap you around every now and then so you can get that, then so be it. Well, I'm just kidding on that one. Don't judge me. Judge all day himself. But no, he really needs to see. You're looking bad out here, my brother. You're looking bad out here in these streets, David. You're looking bad out here. I will never take you seriously. 
I would have respected you more if you had got with her, bam, got to know people, you see what you need to do. You should have been networking, getting along with people. So when you ain't with a ass, you still know these people, you such a good friend. Now they want to give you opportunity and get you home. But see, you're going about it the wrong way, my brother. What is what is not coming fast enough for you? Once you go over to Africa and do a reality show, I'm sure you popular over there now. No, no, Dave. Me know what you did. You get your ass beat, Dave. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hear it about that. But no, I'm serious. It is, you know what? It was bad enough. You, you want to ride a coattails. I get that. Some people do that. Sometimes that's what you have to do when you're talentless. Because there's nothing about you, Dave, to make me want to. You ain't even that damn cute. You couldn't even have a gay following because you're not even that cute. You cut some dreads off, I swear. Ain't nobody looking for you. I wouldn't be surprised if it turns out, Dave, that you end up being one of us. <laughs> I ain't going to hear the end of that one. I'm, don't be surprised if it comes out, and that's allegedly, that's just my thought, that David... End up being one of us, Miss David. Cause usually that's what remember I called I remember I called Joe. I called Tamar a fag hag. And that's not a bad thing when I say she's a fag hag. That's not a bad thing. It's a lot of people, it's a lot of fag hags. Mostly women are fag hags. Um and they tend to attract men that maybe are confused right now or, or bisexual. And I look I know that I hate when I you know, I hate when my gay folk want to make everybody gay and y'all notice I don't do that I really don't do that but when I, I know what I when I call them when I see them I call them when I see them of what I think so look first of all I ain't got shit if he want to sue me I ain't got shit for you to get you sue me that'll make me go ahead and sue me David because you know what that'll give me a little publicity I'll do it I'll do to you what you did to Tamar I'll ride your damn coattails Miss David okay let me stop that but no, I'm serious. I wouldn't be surprised if he, cause his his bitchiness and his ways, it it gives. I'm I'm smelling bisexual somewhere in him. I'm. Sm- <laughs> How can you smell bisexual? I'm smelling bisexual. Mhm. Yeah, it's like he the bitch and Tamar the man, and that's not because of the the domestic violence. Don't don't start me there. I'm just saying. Y'all yeah, smell that? I smell a little bitch. And a little bisexual. We gonna start calling David BB, bisexual bitch. Okay. Ah! Oh, what? Don't judge me. It's my motherfucking child. I judge your damn self. Okay. So I think I touched everything that I want to touch. Oh, Tamar. Now going back to her. You, you on there? Oh my god. Cause I want my life. I lost everything. I want to win it back. It. I need to find me and me. But you study on TV, TV. You want to find you. You want us to find you too. Evidently, see that's what keeps about the reality people, reality stars. I gave my whole life up, but then you'll do something else. It's addictive. I would love. You know what? I know it's some things in my life I probably wouldn't want people to see right now, but that fame, that fortune, that money will make you. You know what? Reality TV would be therapeutic for me. It would help me see. It exposes them other ones, but it would help me. Somebody give me a damn show. Come follow me. Let's make it funny. I'll show you every damn thing. I'm just telling you, but I ain't going to complain. See, don't get a platform and then complain about it. Oh, I ain't got no privacy. Okay, this is what you're saying. For. Everybody, oh, I be wanting to slap them. I be wanting to slap them. You don't know how to handle pain? Oh, give it to me. Give it here. Watch me show you how to do this. I don't want everybody under my son. You know what? Your son had no choice. You didn't put Logan. I know. I feel like I didn't help raise Logan ass because I've been there with you. But you, oh, we now, you just want some privacy. You know what? Stay your ass off TV then. Stay off TV and you ain't get a word. Now you going to pull me all into your life and you don't have an attitude now because fans want to know? Hell Yeah. You brought us in. 
You brought us in. Now let us know what's happening. That's like people on Facebook. You know, and I know y'all heard this one. Yeah, they be on Facebook and, and they, oh, they didn't got a new relationship. They didn't, stay, they didn't change their status, relationship status. Oh, you seeing pictures of them too. Then they break up and you don't see no more pictures, no nothing. Ain't. No, bitch, we a part of this relationship too. Hell, I was going through this with y'all. I want to know if we broke up and that we ain't together no more. Or all of us, we through. Hell, I was... Stop putting shit out there, but then when somebody got something negative to say, you don't want to hear, I ain't going to, you know what, no, this will be a little messy, but I'm going to tell you this. Stop putting yourself out there, and then when somebody got something bad to say, it hurts your damn feelings, or you can't believe it, because you know what? That's part of life. Everybody ain't going to like what you do. It is what it is. I be called all kind of names in my comments. I, I mean, they come for me. But you know what? I say thank you. Thank you for watching. And then if it's something that I want to clap back at, I'll clap back and get... and shut, But I don't get mad about none of that because that comes with the territory. I already know that. Oh, you... you 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 um What the one guy said to me? You sound like you sweeter than um, cotton candy. Some like, oh, some people came at me. Why you eating and telling... It's really rude. Okay, that's what y'all do. I'm going to eat and talk. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But see, when you put yourself out here like this, this is what you got to expect. I don't care if you perfect, which none of us are. Somebody ain't going to like something that you do. So when Tamar Braxton or any of these other people get on reality TV and you think everybody's supposed to like you, that's not going to happen. There's going to be some people that are just unhappy with themselves. And if they don't like themselves, there's no way they can like anybody else. So that's just a given. Even, you know, when even on this YouTube thing, somebody hit a thumbs down. I, I know some of my friends, be, I can, who didn't like it? Why is you worried about who didn't like it? Did you like it? How do you feel about it? Let's stop waiting on other people. First of all, you know, when did life become so important that we care that much about other people liking us? Instead of how much we like ourselves. You have some people that will change just so other people can like them. Never me. Never me. If you don't like who I am and what I what I present, what I give, then that's just meant we're not supposed to be friends. We're not supposed to be in each other's life. Because there's people I don't like, but I don't I don't like them, but that's just it. And we never cross again. I don't have to see you. Do y'all get it? Stop allowing people's likes in life get you going. Okay, my video, this is at 27 minute, and this candy is falling out my hand that I want so bad. Yeah. It's so delicious. Why am I changing myself, see? I thought I wouldn't eat them. I'm going to eat, God damn it. But yeah. So at the end of the day, to sum this all up, I feel like David got an agenda, a hidden agenda, where... He trying to reach a certain plateau, a certain level, which he'll never get. I'm, I'm just saying, Miss David, Miss BB, bisexual bitch. <laughs> Allegedly, just my thought. And he trying to play, he maneuvering. Calculated chess moves with Tamar. And you know what? He knows she's a reactor and she's falling right into that Tamar. My wife for you. The best thing you could have did was get away from his ass. But see, you better be ready to ride, though. Don't give him what he want. Don't react to everything he said. Let him talk. Let him do all the talking. Let the court paper do the for you. Don't react to him. Don't give him no more time than he needs. And if that don't work, beat his ass again, Tamar. <laughs> what? Don't judge me. Judge your damn self. Look, y'all, if this is your first time on my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe. Like, comment, share, please. Um, keep watching to the new um, subscribers. Love you, love you, love you. For you people that told my mama happy birthday yesterday, I really, really enjoyed it. One last thing, hit that bell. See that bell down there? Ring my bell. Ring my bell. My bell, ring a ring a ring. Ooh, ooh. You can ring my bell. You can ring my bell. 
You can ring my bell anytime, any day. Ring it, ring it. Okay, ring the damn bell. Or go to hell. <laughs> um, like I said, yes, thank you guys for always my 4C game for life. Cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktails. Cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktail. 4C game for life. That's what we do. Look, I love you. I truly love you. I just don't love you more than I love my damn self. What? Don't judge me. Judge your motherfucker self. This is comedian Michael Allen. I'm out. Peace.